Tony Davis was a young rhythm and blues singer who followed the path of many aspiring musicians. I moved from Orlando, Florida to Los Angeles seeking to sing R&B. Tony's dreams of stardom just weren't coming true, so he turned to God for help. I went to praying right there. I said, something got to happen. I know, God, if you're real, please help me. Help me get out of this. I gave my life to Christ right there. I changed my life around. And I said, you know what? I want to start to sing for the Lord. I want to do gospel. Tony started a new career as a gospel singer. He thought his life was back on track. That is, until the night he went to pick up his wife. I came just to pick up my wife from work. And when I pulled up to the house where she worked, bullets started to ring out from behind me. The first bullet hit my left leg, my thigh area, and I turned to run. And as I turned to run, two more bullets followed and hit, hit my leg again. And I ran and I fell down beside my car. And all of a sudden, another young man came from the other side, the front side, and he started to shoot me all over again. A bullet hit my right side thigh area. Another bullet hit the ground and came up through my leg. All of a sudden, the bullet went across my face, my chest, and I said, enough, in the name of Jesus. And a young man was standing behind a tree, and he had the gun pointing towards my head. And I said, why? What have I done to make you shoot me like this? You don't even know me. What have I done? And his hand began to tremble, and he lowered the gun. At that point, I knew I was going to die. It was too much blood. One of the bullets shattered Tony's main artery. He bled to death right there on the street. His wife, Criselda, ran outside when the shooting stopped. When I went there, he was, um, he was laid out shot in his blood. I actually saw myself that the ambulance was giving him CPR and inside. I asked to go with him and they would not take me because they was doing CPR to try to bring him back. I started to float towards these clouds. Um, these clouds opened up, and through these clouds, I saw this huge city. Um, it was so strange, but the city was beautiful, man. Was, I saw these colors I've never seen before in my life, these strange, just glowing colors, radiant colors just glooming out of, of this huge city. All of a sudden, this voice said, it's not yet your time, go back. And I'm like, no, 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 no way. He said my name, Tony. Your work is not yet done, go back. The doctor had already pronounced him dead. I opened my eyes and I looked up and I was on life support. This thing was in my throat. This long tube with a trait was in my throat. And this doctor was standing over me and he was about to throw this sheet over my head. But he dropped the sheet and he ran out the room. Doctors and nurses ran to his room. They was checking me and they couldn't believe. They said, you know, you was dead for 30 minutes. And usually when you, you know, after a few minutes of death, you, you know, they expected me to have brain damage. Tony was alive, but the doctor had some disappointing news for him. And the doctor was telling me, we're sorry, but we had to cut your throat immediately to try to get air into your body. So we cut your throat and we mistakenly cut a piece of your vocal cord. So what we can do at this point is um, we can put a box on the side of your throat and you can talk through this box. And they told him they may have to amputate his left leg. And unfortunately, the artery put in your left leg is not working properly. It's not sitting right in the leg. I was mad with God because I asked God, why did he let something like this happen to a good person that's trying to serve him? But Tony says he held on to his faith in God. I've served God in spirit and in truth. And in, in that, I believe that he's going to show up and heal me. I believe that Jesus said by his stripes we are healed. That's in the Bible. And I believe that he's going to heal me. And I'm going to stand on that only. Tony prayed for a miracle and says he got it that very night. And all of a sudden, I felt this warmthness come into that room. It came into the room, a, war, a, a nice warmthness. And it touched my leg, and I felt it go up to the artery. And I felt like stuff was being mingled together in my leg. And all of a sudden, it went up to my throat. Tony says that while God healed his body, he was also working on his heart. 
you must forgive is what God said in my spirit. And I'm like, no, you got to be kidding me. Why should I forgive those guys that shot me like this? And he said again, you must forgive. And when he said that, I said, you know what? This is a choice for me. I'm going to forgive. It's not a feeling, but it's a choice. So therefore, I forgive. Police told Tony he was probably the victim of a local gang initiation. I really strongly believe in my heart that it was a miracle because the way that my husband was shot, it's, I, I see that people comes in the hospital when he was in there with one bullet in their, their body, they died. He had five bullets and he, never, he didn't. He died, but God brought him back for a reason. Tony is still singing gospel and says that wherever he goes, he wants people to understand the power of God's love. I know and I truly believe when the scripture says that not even death can separate us from his love, I think about how he touched me and brought me back to life, how he gave me my joy back and my strength back and my faithfulness to him. It just, I mean, I'm just totally overwhelmed with his grace and his mercy.